Hey everybody, welcome back to episode three of my podcast, This Girl Shoots. My name is Brana Lisa, your host, and today I have two amazing guests. My name's Aliyah Monique. I'm a professional model in Tampa. My name is Melissa Barnes, and I'm a professional t- boudoir photographer in Tampa. Amazing. And Aliyah here is also a tattoo artist. So if you want tattoos, go ahead and I have for tats. Just tap you. Okay, guys. So today's going to be about boudoir because me and Miss Melissa here are both boudoir photographers, and we love what we do. And Aliyah also models for boudoir sometimes. So this is perfect for us. So why? Why should there be more female boudoir photographers in the industry today? Um, For me personally, I definitely feel like you're going to be more comfortable when it comes to a female. Like when it comes to a male, you know, at the end of the day, like they're going to look at you and they're going to be like, okay, like this looks good. This looks good. You know, and then you get the pictures back and you're like, my hair is out of place. My hand looks weird. My bra is like partially coming off. (laughs) But when you have a female, you know, you know, You know, it's more of like a attention to detail thing, I guess, is that they're more keen to see something that another female would want fixed in their photo. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? (laughs) For me, I think it's like the trust part. I feel like when people hear boudoir, they're already like scared. And I think most of it is like you've said before, it was male dominated. So I think females help bring the trust out because it's with a female, it's more about you and you becoming like the art piece as opposed to a male it's more like what they want to see exactly yeah like I feel like with men they will do like certain poses to like please them and not worrying about oh well she wants to do this she wants to do something a little bit like less sexy but then again she's still in lingerie but some male photographers really want to push those boundaries and be like oh no we'll just completely bend over maybe um bring your bra strap down if she doesn't want to do that and some tricks that some boudoir photographers do that I've noticed in the past, and I do that too, is they will take a few photos with their clothes on until they feel comfortable enough to like change into their lingerie or artistic nudes if they're gonna do that that day. But I feel like if you're gonna do artistic nudes, that should be agreed upon before time instead of at the last minute because that's really awkward <laughs> and like kind of not necessarily like disrespectful but it's like well no, were it's those disrespectful yeah it's, it's like disrespectful what is what what were your intentions in the first place if you're just going to ask me that like off rip if that's really your intention as a photographer like whether you're a male or female you should let them know that beforehand like hey do you want to do boudoir if we can we can do some artistic nudes at the end if you're comfortable with that if not that's fine instead of like automatically pushing that like up front and especially the day of like while you're shooting that's like really like strange you don't want to put somebody in that situation for me as a model too like whenever i've had like a situation like that where like i went to a regular shoot and they're like do you want to shoot boudoir after i'm like you know this is something we could have like planned like right because for me it's like like, i mean i have anxiety like i feel bad telling somebody no to something because i'm like oh my god they're never gonna work want to work with me again so god forbid like you know you're doing a shoot and somebody goes hey you want to shoot implied nude and you go no and then be like why not I, ju- exactly. I don't want to. It's exactly. that simple. It I just don't want to. End of convo. Yeah, or like being pressured. Like for me, obviously, I'm a disabled model. Sometimes I get in pain. I can't do many poses mm-hmm. after a certain point in time. And I actually had a situation where I had a photographer literally yell in my face, scream at me because I was like, dude, I can't do this anymore. Like my body's hurting. And my, like my body's giving out on me. And he was like, if you're not serious about it, you can just say that. And I was like, no i'm putting myself in pain who's not serious here um no longer photographer i work with unfortunately dang i'm so sorry you have to go through that that's pretty messed up real bad too so so it wasn't even worth it in the first place i think it's a red flag too when someone says like do you want to shoot boudoir and then they automatically think nude or like the smallest lingerie because i've shot boudoir before when it's a jeans and like a calvin klein like sports right, bra. right i think it's less about what you wear and more of the attitude that you bring to it right exactly you just gotta feel like comfortable if the client like feels like oh well my goal of the shoe is to feel sexy i want to be able to feel sexy if their goal is to 
be like sensual but not showing too much because that's just not their personality like right. you should be able to do that especially as a professional like i get if you're like a new boudoir photographer you don't really know what you're doing yet like with your camera and with posing and it's still like really weird and awkward i feel like you should first tell that person that hey i'm a beginner i don't really know what i'm doing yet but this is for me for you to get what you want and for me to also practice this craft because it is a craft like i don't care what people say like oh it's not a craft you're just doing it because i don't know like this is so easy it's not it's still portrait photography it's just a specific genre that some people like some people don't like especially photographers i know photographers that will never even guys that they will never do boudoir because this is not their thing they're just like well i like shooting cars i like travel photography I like weddings, <laughs> like whatever it is. <laughs> but honestly, no, I definitely, I definitely feel like when it comes down to it, especially when it's like I'm a photographer that's never shot boudoir. Like I've had one that DM'd me and they were like, "Hey, like I've never shot it, but I've seen some of your pics. Like I really want to get into it if you'd be interested." And I was like, first of all, thanks for telling me that you've never done it before and that you just want to get into it because a lot of people will not say that to you. Exactly. And it's mainly for the fact of thinking they're gonna get rejected. Like honestly being open with a model, telling them that, you know, it's your first time shooting in this genre or shooting whatever, is more likely it's going to get you that that booking because half the time we want to see what you can do. Like, it's not really like a, oh, you've never done it. Like, I don't want to shoot with you then. Like, no, no, I want to shoot with you. I want to see what you can do. Like, exactly. where are we going with this? Yeah. Um, and a lot of them, you know, usually already have boudoir ideas, like whether it's like a dark angel for like mm -hmm. October, you know, whatever. There's, there's always something. Mm-hmm. Do you guys think that the boudoir industry needs more female photographers? And if they do, how important are are they in order for the industry to grow, like the boudoir industry specifically? Um, I would say definitely yes. Um, again, <laughs> men run almost every industry that mm -hmm. we have. Whether yeah, especially that's, the film industry. <laughs> yeah, especially the film industry. Um, and a lot of the times I feel like people don't realize that women can do it too. Like, they're like, oh, well, you know, you can't shoot boudoir as a female. Like, why not? Why can't I? Exactly. Like, what, what's what's the problem? Like, you're, you're telling me I can't be a photographer because I'm a female? Like, you're telling me I can't do a specific genre because I'm a female? Like, mm -hmm. honestly, half the time, those females are more confident in helping pose a woman or figure out what a woman wants doing their shoot or a male. Like, half the time, they just know what you're looking for and they know how to give you that confidence to get there. Mm -hmm. More than a man does. A man's going to tell you, bend over, I want to get your booty. Exactly. Like, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, like show me the tatas. Like, no, I want to look like artsy. Like, I want to look like a pretty little princess. Like, right. you know, just in a, in a Cinderella, like, laundry. But, like, for women, definitely, like, there should be more female photographers out there. It, it definitely shows, you know, younger girls, too, as well, that, like, you can be the model or you can be the photographer. You don't have to pick, you know, exactly. like, just to be one. Exactly. And with most most women that I've worked with, they usually never want like, oh, well, I want to do a boudoir session, but I want it to be like pornographic. Like I've never got that type of like request. Like I want to do this, but it, I want it to be like super out there and like, you know, like this sort of like style. It's like it's usually not like that. And usually if the photos come out like that, it's usually because the photographer is like, oh, in mind, like she wants to do a boudoir shoot, but really I want to do like the pornographic style right. and just, just pray that she ends up liking it when she gets the edits. <laughs> that is so like, that is so scary. Especially once you don't know the photographer, they don't, they're not really known for doing that. If you don't have any mutual friends that have told you, Hey, this photographer says boudoir, you really want to do sensual, but really in his mind, he thinks boudoir is just, oh, which is pornographic images because they want to put it on like OnlyFans or something. Mm -hmm. But it's really important to really vet your photographer, no matter who it is, if it's a female or a male. But especially with males, like they have certain ideas in their mind. And if you don't like resonate with the type of boudoir work that this male photographer has specifically, then just don't shoot with them. Obviously, if they deliver different things like pornographic images, if you didn't know, like, you didn't know he was going to do that. Like, they promised you, yeah, we'll just, just do maybe, like, the Calvin Klein thing, with you know, like, a tank top or jeans. But really, really, he'll have you, <laughs> like, in weird poses. I bet it's, like, porn, even though you have, like, clothes on. Yeah. So I think that's important. Yeah, there's too many guys. Out. I've had a model specifically request me to join, like, their, like, content day with a, it was supposed to be all males. And they're like, please, I want to do this, but I want to feel comfortable. 
So mm-hmm. I feel like that speaks a lot when the model requests. That's, that's scary. Mm-hmm. I've had yeah. those situations where, dang, I want to call somebody out. You can uh, if you want to. Get them canceled to this. <laughs> <laughs> Too many people have tried, and that, that person's still out there. Um, unfortunately. But I have had some females tell me, you know, they went to a content creator meetup. All the photographers, every single one of them was a male. And they were like, I didn't even want to do any implied nude, God forbid, full nude. Because I'm surrounded in a house that I've never been to. Somebody else is full of men. And the only other females there were other models. Yeah, because that is pretty scary. Because, like, you don't really know what to expect. You expect, like, a melting pot of photographers. Mm -hmm. Like, of all, like, genders and, like, um, experience levels. Yeah, I want the white chocolate, the dark chocolate, the cheese, the the milk chocolate. (laughs) Give me it all, you know? Like, I want to see everyone there. But it's definitely a scary experience, I would say. Just just from my experience, I have walked into a shoot, and it was just mainly all male photographers. And I looked around, and I was like, there's, like, four models here that are females. I'm five. The right. rest of this whole group is men. And I turned around, I went back in my car, and I drove home. I was like, I'm not doing this. I was like, right. nope. it's like the anxiety is hitting sketch. right now. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because there's so many stories of models, you know, saying they went to a boudoir shoot, they were drugged. Yeah, I'm calling you out. Um, mm. They were drugged, you know, they were sexually assaulted, whatever the situation mm. was. Like, even if it isn't the photographer themselves, if they're there and they're watching something happen to their model, like, why aren't you doing anything? That, that's I think that's what bothers me most, especially when it comes to like male photographers that shoot boudoir. If you are seeing, um, you know, your client or your model, whatever, get uncomfortable, stop. Right. Just just stop. Like, exactly. If they're not comfortable, they're not gonna want anything from you. They're not gonna want those edited pictures mm-hmm. at all, whatsoever. Like, if you can't be comfortable with your photographer, don't shoot with them at all. Right. Like, find can... find a female photographer. I promise you, there's yeah. plenty of female boudoir photographers that would much rather you know, enjoy shooting you and make you feel confident and happy rather than make you feel like you're like a sex object. Right. And we definitely need more in this community. And for you, what has been your most memorable experience shooting boudoir, like with a girl or a guy? Um, It was probably my first one and it's what got me into boudoir. Um, I'm, I feel like I'm a shy person overall, so I never intended on doing boudoir. Um, but I had a client come to me who I've shot her family photos before, and she was like, please, like, I want to do this. My husband and I got a divorce, um, and my whole relationship, he's, like, verbally abused me, told me nobody would want me, Dang. I'm too overweight, all all of that. So I was like, all right, let's do this out of spite. <laughs> we are going revenge to make photos. it look so good. Exactly. <laughs> Screw a revenge body, get revenge face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we did that. We had fun. We did it outdoors, by the way. <laughs> wow. Which was, yeah. Bold. Um, and then when I showed her the pictures, she cried. And she was like, I wish my husband saw me like this, but I'm seeing myself that way, and that's more important. Oh my gosh, period. I love that. That is so, that is literally so beautiful. I've I've had some some girls come up to me and saying like hey I'm gonna get married soon I want to do this for my husband I'm gonna give this to him on our wedding night and and funny enough they ended up getting a divorce and I saw her a couple <laughs> I saw her a couple weeks ago when I was paddle boarding with friends and it was at Armature Works right. And then I saw her and I was like, oh, my gosh, hey, girly, do you remember me? Because this was like a year ago and she just got divorced a couple months ago, I think. But I was like, hey, do you remember me? Do you still have the album? And then I asked her, like, what happened? Like, like what do you do? And and yeah, she just told me the story of what happened and that she's just like, I'm going to give our boudoir album to somebody else. I was like, period. <laughs> I was like, we worked on that thing together. It needs to go to somebody. By the way, you guys probably can't see right now, but I'm starting to cry because the way the way that she just saw this woman in the street, in the streets of Tampa, and was like, how's it going? She was like, yeah, no, we're going to give the album to somebody else. Girl, if you don't frame that thing, I don't know who you are, but I hope you watch this podcast, and I hope you just frame those pictures. Same, love you, babe. And invite invite a bunch of men to your house for like a little party or whatever, and just have all those photos printed and just put up on the wall, glass display case. I don't care what it is, <laughs> just put them all up and just take a video and make sure your ex husband sees it. Yes, yes. He literally had had a guy come up to her house and like serve papers just out of nowhere. I'm just like, how 
evil do you have to be? And if you guys like got in a fight or like something happened, like that's literally your wife. Like you just don't like if I got into an argument with my husband, I'm not married, but if I was married, like everyone would be divorced if like you just like ended just by a simple argument or disagreement. It's just like welcome oh to modern gosh. 2023 relationships. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just like where you literally don't see marriages happen. Um yeah. but she deserves so much better than that. And I'm I can't wait for her to give the album to somebody else. <laughs> Honestly, I'm rooting for it. Um and I'm glad the ex husband did not get that album because oh, that thing it. was probably fine. Oh no, he did see it. He's like, here you can give it back. You can have Excuse it. me? Yeah, he's like, yeah, you can have that. I, I hope you kept the ring. <laughs> Whoever you are, I hope you kept that ring. Pawn it. Pawn it. Take the money. <laughs> Rob him. Sue him. Do something. <laughs> I don't like this man. Same. He said, take it back. Yeah, he's like, well, I don't really need this in here. It's okay. I'll last in your memories. <laughs> like, Literally. Rent free. <laughs> 500 a month. I'm curious if you guys, like, know of like male boudoir photography like is that a thing is that not a thing do you guys have experience like seeing that or watching boudoir doing shooting male boudoir <laughs> i've done three total um yeah like, i've just had a guy come to me and he, and they've actually asked me i don't know if male boudoir a thing but i want like nice photos in my underwear i'm like yeah it's a thing i don't <laughs> particularly call it something else cause mm -hmm. i feel like feeling good about yourself isn't limited to one gender exactly so i feel like calling it just boudoir helps erase that kind of mentality um but yeah um and we need more of it for sure mm -hmm. um put on your boxers <laughs> go sit in a tub pour some milk in there well water and milk don't just do milk that's weird right. add some flowers and do do a boudoir shoot if you are a male and you are watching this do it do it watch how your confidence boosts swear but I've definitely seen a lot of, whether it's, like, aggressively feminine, which I love, mm -hmm. or if it's, like, a masculine vibe, whereas you have a guy in, like, Calvin Klein boxers, you know, with, like, the pulling the pants down mm -hmm. whole deal that you see literally their commercials. Um, if you have something like that, I feel like that's definitely, like, the more common boudoir that everybody thinks of when it comes to a male is, like, kind of like the Calvin Klein, like, commercials. Or, for instance, like... There was a guy that I was pretty sure it was either Vogue or Malvi, and he was in the shoot, and he had, you know, like, the boxers on. He had the flowers coming out of it. He had the gold luster dust, the claws. Dang. Like, he was, like, baddie level 1,000. And the way that I looked at that, and I was like, if I had the parts, I would have done this too. Like, you know, <laughs> yeah. like, if I was a male, I would have done the exact same thing. But it was just seeing that there's that line between, like, feminine mask or, like, just mask. Mm -hmm. um, but, like, seeing... A male do boudoir and like their confidence and be like, oh my God, I look so good. Like, yeah, you get it. You get it now. You get it now. Do it again. Do it again. You know, it's a confidence booster no matter like what gender you are, I feel like. But there should definitely be more men doing right. boudoir. Like, right. Do For it. Sure. You look good. I promise. You look good. Right. It's uh, not too feminine. <laughs> a lot of people think that, well, boudoir is just a girly thing. It's for a girl. So if a guy wants to do it, that's weird. He must be gay. But like masculine men could do it too like i saw on ig i don't know him personally but i've been following him for a really long time and i think he's either um an international model i think he models in london and miami or like both and i saw him like on ig i think it's like pinned to the top too i think it's like an old shoot but he was in a studio with a white background and he was like fully nude and he was sitting in a chair and he was rocking back and the photographer caught him with like the chair halfway like halfway up and his hair was like flowing back i'm just like oh my gosh and he's masculine he has a girlfriend like i don't like get any like feminine vibes from him so i'm just like dang send he's like really link. hot too send me the link send me the link <laughs> i want to be in part two send me the link <laughs> i'll be the chair <laughs> lean back on me let's go <laughs> i've even done like the flower top with a guy before and it did not even give feminine at all speaking dang. of that did you use tape or did you use ribbon what do you mean? Like the flower top? You're talking about flower like the top. flowers that you like, like to your chest? They're just holding the bouquet in front of their chest. Oh, girl, I tied those things around <laughs> myself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be so real. I did that for my friend's uh, for my friend's birthday shoot. And I took the flowers and I grabbed a ribbon. And I was like, turn around. <laughs> and I tied it to her because I was like, yeah, you know, you can pose. You know, if you, if you feel your titty start falling out, though, you know, like grab the flowers. <laughs> I can't help you at that point. Like just grab the flowers. But no, I definitely used I definitely used ribbon. I didn't. I don't trust holding those things. Noted. Yeah. What is your most memorable boudoir shoe up to date? Like your most like, you know, like the biggest, 
you know, like coolest like location? Mm, honestly, it's that first one again because that's what started it all for me. And um, maybe not one as like impactful as that for me, but there was a client who did it just because, and she would do it periodically like i'm talking once a month no way and i was like is this for a husband she's like no i'm not with anyone i just i feel like i have body issues and this is helping me get past oh, that so i was like yeah okay. respect I like that period wow that is so inspiring i think my favorite shoe ever boudoir shoe i think it was the milk bath definitely oh my God. especially since that was like my third shoe ever like i barely even knew how to put the camera in focus but we <laughs> sat there for five hours sat there for five hours and this was my my old school friend so I felt like really comfortable with her and she felt really comfortable with me and yeah we just did the darn thing and I didn't even like it was like a privilege for me even though like she's like getting the 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 photos that are gonna last for the rest of her life like that was like such those were like such teaching hours for me. And then that was like the moment I was like, I really like boudoir, especially like the milk bath style with like colorful, um, like the colorful milk. It's very definitely my vibe because I'm a very colorful photographer, especially in the editing. You're a colorful person. Yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> honestly, when it comes down to a personality and all, um, colorful person. But no, I definitely, I love the milk baths. I love the colored milk baths. For anybody that doesn't know, here's a tip. When you do a milk bath, don't use milk. Use milk powder. Don't use milk. Yes. It's so much easier. Also, get a bunch of bath bombs. <laughs> it helps for colors. <laughs> yes. Like, do, do the water, do a bath bomb, and then add your milk powder. It'll change the color. Look, you got two different ideas now. Like, you got two different styles. <laughs> like, trust me. Also, don't drain the flowers down your tub. It's, it's a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> I imagine. Shout out to my first, my first boudoir shoot <laughs> I did. And I drowned my friend's tub. Day. After all three of us did milk baths, <laughs> all three of us did it, and I just kept draining the tub, and then eventually it stopped draining, and I was like, oh, oops. Hey, that's great, great. What is, like, the most creative boudoir shoots you guys have done? Like, is there a specific location you guys went to, or the photographer used, like, this certain, like, editing technique? Or did you get, like, crazy requests of, like, oh, I want to do this? Like, I've had crazy requests <laughs> with boudoir i'm definitely gonna share i was gonna say what was the craziest one for me this random person um messaged me on ig and i looked at her profile and she looked like a mom so i was like okay cool and she mentioned to me that she was married and she just wants to do boudoir but then she's like it's not with my husband he wants me to do it with another man i'm like i'm sorry what <laughs> And I'm like, cool, if, if you're into that, that's awesome. And then I was like, when are you available? <laughs> when are you usually available? And then she's like, she, <laughs> she's like, my husband wants me to do it with a black guy. I'm like, oh, that's cool, that's that's awesome. And then again, I was like, well, when are you available? <laughs> and then she proceeds to send me a picture of, of this this black guy with his um, boxers on. And then she's like, oh, look at that. And I got, and I'm like, <laughs> Okay, I literally asked you, <laughs> what is your availability? I think you're just trolling me at this point. I'm just like, there's no way. And I was like, I don't think this is going to work. Because <laughs> I literally felt like she was just trolling me. I was like, I was like, I hope you find the right photographer. I don't think this style of, of photography is right for me. Because she was asking for, like, pornographic stuff. I was like, I don't really, I don't really do that type of, type of style of boudoir but i really hope you she find wasn't right asking for it her husband was <laughs> she was not asking for that her yeah. husband was yeah that was all her husband wanted was that <laughs> like, yeah it's probably him on the email <laughs> <laughs> it was probably him messaging you yeah just honestly hacked. he hacked. was like here's the guy <laughs> look at that <laughs> i was like okay well yeah see mine Honestly, probably the most craziest one. I don't know if you, I don't know if you've seen my page, but um, the Cadillac, the Cadillac shoot that I did. I've seen that. So, I love the colors. So, so for anybody who doesn't know, that that Cadillac is a vintage. Okay. Yeah. Somebody I know owns that car. Somebody that I tried to get with multiple oh, times. Oh. I was like, look, I'm just trying to hook up with you, bro. And he was like. Nah, like, dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest, dude shot me down, like, multiple times, but oh. I was like, I really want to shoot with your car, and he was like, I 
Yes. yes. And then I did the shoot and I was like, oh, do you want the pics of me in the car? And he was like, no, can I just get a picture of my own car without you in it? And I was like, you know what? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. I want to point out that those pictures got published. This man also lives in the UK now, so y'all can never get that same photo again with that car. I'm letting y'all know right now that car is gone. It's in the UK with him. I can never recreate it either. It's so sad. Do you want to talk about your tattoo business? I've been tattooing since I was 17 years old illegally um i gotta put that in there because <laughs> i'm legal now um i was not before but um you know i'd be doing deals and everything so if you're a libra um and you want a libra tattoo shout out the libra in the corner um if you're a libra and you want a libra tattoo for your birthday i'm doing 50 percent off libras only only don't hit me up if you're a Leo. Don't hit me up if you're a Virgo. It's not your time. Yeah. Um, if you're a Libra, hit me up for the month of October. 50% off your tats. Um, if it's ever your birthday month and you want to get a tattoo related to your birthday, DM me at Inked by Monique. You can find it attached to my regular page. DM me, guys. I be throwing deals all the time. I also just like poking people with needles because it's fun. It's not, it's not fun because I put you in pain. It's just, it's just fun to see it later. It's, you know how photographers like doing photos because they see their art? I like doing tattoos because then I get to see it heal. If you don't like playing, please don't come to me. I'm hard hand. I'm, I'm very heavy handed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> like, I will, I will put you in pain. Sorry. Okay. What other types of modeling do you do? And what other types of photography do you do besides boudoir? Everything, but I really want to get into cosplay. If I'm being completely honest, okay. I have like an Inuyasha wig. I literally cut just to do Inuyasha and I still haven't done it yet. But like, please, anybody doing cosplay is, yeah, yes. it's chef's kiss. There's They're a lot the of golden. artistic ability that goes into being able to do a cosplay, but I do everything. But cosplay, seeing anybody do cosplay is like probably my favorite. It's like, oh my God, the dedication. Do you do mm -hmm. like your wardrobe? Yeah, all my yeah. clothes are mine. I have a whole wardrobe in my room, plus nice. two closets, plus drawers under my bed. You can ask my roommate over there. There's still clothes and hampers because I have nowhere else to put them. Um, but yeah, no, I all That's my clothes a lot are work. mine. Yeah, I have problems. <laughs> what about you? <laughs> I um I like primarily couples. Um, Same. Yeah, it's just like the love in the photos. It's hard to it's hard to uh, do without. Mm -hmm. I do like doing creative sessions a lot. So I would say I do a lot of things. I don't really do weddings, but I do do like the grads, family, maternity. I mostly do the couples. I do creative sessions and then boudoir are my three favorite. Yes, me too. Yeah. We're into the same genres. <laughs> <laughs> what um, do you, how do you feel about family photography? I've done one family before, but it wasn't that big. It was like, I think four people, the oh. parents and the kids. I was like really stressed out. <laughs> was it the kids? Um, a little bit, yeah. They weren't that young, but they were young enough to like not, not really listen. pay attention to what's going on. <laughs> so then I was just like, and I was worried. I was like, wait, what if like not all their photos are in focus? Like not all their faces are in focus. And that was like back in the beginner days. I was trying like dipping, trying to dip my toes into like every type of portrait photography mm -hmm. genre. So then I was like, I'm not sure if like families are for me, but that is something I will like accept on the back end. It's just not something that I like specialize in. Me too, me too. It's the husbands for me. It's the, yeah. husbands. the husbands, the husbands who come with a bad attitude because their wives drag them to the oh, Christmas photos. Yeah. Have you had that? Oh, see, yes. see to all the husbands out there, this is why your wife wants to go do a boudoir shoot out of spite. Okay, <laughs> stop being like that. Just go have a good time. Get your family photos and get out. Okay, buy her some food after. I don't know what to tell you, man. You're fine. It's it's an hour. You're fine. Sometimes longer. <laughs> I love that. Depending on the kids, you might be there for four. What other types of photography had you have you tried to like venture out to, but you just decided it wasn't really for you? Honestly, I think family is the only one, and it's it's. I like the kids. The kids are always fun. I've haven't had a bad experience with a kid besides like a baby full on crying because they're hungry. But it's it's the the husband's primarily for me. I've had one where he frowned the entire time, and the wife asked me if I could Photoshop a smile on him, and I'm like, that's not how that works. <laughs> Uh, but um, maternity is another one that I've gotten into recently, but um, I don't know. If I could choose between couples and a maternity, I I would prefer to do a couple maternity shoot over a single maternity one. Me too, for yeah. sure. Yes. I mean, for me, mine is definitely, like, the creative outlet. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen, there's this one photo that's been, like, circling everywhere of a girl buying a fish tank 
like a huge fish tank and filling it with water and like fake blood and like it was like super gory for like spooky time you know but something like creative out of the box is probably my favorite like Mm -hmm. you know anything with like the fairy wings the contacts the makeup like anything like that that that's definitely my favorite so i would say the creative then boudoir and then cosplay awesome cosplay well i think we're out of time you guys go ahead and shout out your ids everybody the t-h-e aliyah a-l-y-a-h monique m-o-n-i-q-u-e my name's weird i'm sorry for (laughs) y'all mine is mmb underscore period photography nice go ahead and check out these ladies you guys they're very talented in what they do and make sure you follow me on ig brianna lisa photography and check out my new website brianna lisa photography dot see you next sunday